Here is something that will help you if you have a stair step that is protruding into a hallway or a landing and sometimes quite a distance. I've seen these stick out about six inches before and actually reduce the width of the hallway to where it is no longer meeting the building codes. So let's go ahead and take a look at a stairway that is built correctly. And this is often difficult to do if you don't know a lot about stair building. And of course that problem can usually be solved by gathering more information, watching more of our videos. So again, everything is lining up correctly and built the way the designer wanted it to be built. However, if one flight of stairs is located incorrectly, like we have here, the upper flight of stairs is located four inches in this direction, you're going to end up with a problem up here most of the time. However, you shouldn't have a problem located below. I say that, but bear with me here because I've also seen this create problems in the upper and lower sections. And again, this can be a problem if you have a wall here and this wall is located less than the minimum width requirement by your local building codes. And that's usually going to be 36 inches in most homes. So you can see here where we would have just taken four inches out of that measurement. Next up, let's go ahead and relocate the lower stairway. We're going to move this one here six inches out to provide you with an example of what I'm talking about here and provide you with another example of how you could end up with another section of the stairway sticking out into an area that might create problems for the minimum width in that area. And this is actually a big problem in buildings where they need every square inch to make the stairs work. So if you have the room, you can simply extend the length of the wall to cover up the corner of the stairs there. As long as you're meeting the local building code requirements for the width between the walls. So to answer the original question, why are the stairs protruding out into certain areas? And it's usually going to have something to do with the structural engineer who might have a beam located in a part of the building that will make it difficult to build the stairs in tight spaces. Or the designer who didn't leave enough room to build the stairway. Or the builder who didn't know how to adjust and compensate for the measurements that were on the plans. And to make matters worse, sometimes we're going to have a nosing on the stairs. And if you do, it's not difficult to figure out that we've just made this a little bit longer down here. And the same at the top. And this usually won't be a problem. We're making this area wider. However, it can be a problem over here because we've just reduced the width of this by an inch. Up here, however, we've made it a little better by adding an inch to this, by creating an overhang. You can see where, again, we've added another inch to this area, added another inch to this area, yet could end up with some problems in this area and this area down here. If we have walls that need to be a specific width to meet local building code requirements.